Hello, everyone. Happy New Year. Welcome to the January math moment. Uh, we reached that point in the year where we all have the same thing on our minds, I think. Right? We're thinking about what is one thing that everyone wishes they had more of, but there's just never seems to be enough of it. All right? Here's a clue. <laughs> I think we all know that answer as educators. It's time. We always seem to be running out of time or there's just never enough time. Sometimes we wish we could slow it down or add another day to the week, but we know that's really out of our control. So today I thought it'd be nice to talk about three tips that we could use in the math classroom that can maybe help you buy some of that precious time. So the first tip, we could be intentional with our planning. So each course, there's just so many standards for each of our math courses from K all the way up through Algebra 2. So if we can organize those mathematical standards to ensure that our priority standards have adequate time and that we spend a little less time on what we call the supportive standards that maybe we can fold into each other or maybe just we don't need to put as much time into those, right? Because not all math standards are created equally, meaning we can't put the same amount of time and energy into each standard, or else we're just simply never gonna get through all those key concepts. So I recommend that you work together with your colleagues and organize your standards into those that are high priority and to those that are lower priority. Or if you need help with that support, you can always reach out to us here at the ESC. Uh, second tip, can we determine what things students may be able to do on their own at home or outside of the classroom so that we do free up time for instruction, investigation, and collaboration while we are at school? So maybe some individual practice can be done asynchronously that'll help you free up some of that precious class time uh, that we have while we're there at the school. And finally, Third tip of the day, use data to adjust your plans. So besides standardized tests, so we have iReady, we have MAP, we have Ohio State testing, consider how you could use formative assessments or other summative assessments to help drive your instruction. So if your students nailed that exit ticket on systems of equations, do we need to spend another day practicing that skill? Or can we move on? Or if you plan for 45 minutes, to give a quiz in your math class, but it only took your students 20 minutes. What are you gonna do with that 25 extra minutes? Do you have a backup plan? So those are things that we need to consider as we plan and as we go through each day, take notes and adjust your plans accordingly to the feedback that you receive from your students. All right, so now speaking of time, I wanna be respectful of your time and give you guys a chance to uh, digest this information. So if you have any questions or other suggestions, please feel free to reach out to me with the contact information that you see there. I hope you guys had a great holiday break and take care of yourselves and stay healthy.